Hi, I'm Shane Cottle. Um, I've been here at Epic for, gosh, like 16 years now. I worked on pretty much all of our games. Uh, I made Epic Citadel and also Tappy Chicken. Yeah! I just really wanted to try making like a 2D style game. that's kind of 8-bit, original 2D kind of style art. And that was back in the time when all the flappy craze was going on and there was like a big flappy jam of people making flappy style games. So I was like, hey, I'll just make one of those and we could release it as a sample and people will have a you know, clear cut example of how to do this in Unreal Engine 4. You know, I made the graphics, I think, one night, and then the next night I did the code for the initial gameplay, and then I spent a little bit of time after that adding in the menus and all the polishy kind of stuff. This is the entire blueprint for the whole game right here, all in one page, so it's really easy for you to go in and change it and make it whatever you want. You can tweak the values or make a whole different game out of it if you'd like. Blueprints, it really gives you a level of power that you've never had before if you're a person like me that, that really wants to do all the kind of stuff that you can do with it and now you can do it without having to write a single line of code, which is awesome. Hey, here we are on, on an Android device, a Nexus 5. Um, on Android, we use Google Play for leaderboards and achievements, as well as AdMob for our, our ad display, uh, even though <laughs> I'm pretty horrible. Here's uh, an iPad Air. Uh, we support iPhone 4 and up at uh, 60 frames per second, as well as ad, ad networks and game center. Oh! <laughs> um, and last but not least, we actually have, uh, running in a web browser here, uh, this would be Firefox that we're running in. So, Tappy Chicken on HTML5 supports all the browsers that currently support WebGL. It uh, uses the Inscripted tool chain, and a lot of our tools make it easier to deploy it directly to the browser. Another thing we wanted to do with this release was to show that we can make a really small, you know, file-sized game with the Unreal Engine. Um, this whole game, you know, the download app size is under 30 megs, so it can run across any device, um, you know, over the air. You don't even need Wi-Fi to download it. That's totally a viable engine to do any sort of game you want to make. So yeah, this game's out there now, and if you wait till the 4.2 release, you can actually get your hands on the actual version of it that we shipped and modify it into your own game. <laughs>